thanks for joining me. In our journey through life, none of us escapes without bad things or experiences happening to us. In the Old Testament, in the book of Job, in chapter 5 and verse 7, it says, Yet man is born to trouble as the sparks fly upwards. It might be when you're a child or youth or grown up, everybody faces problems or difficulties. Inevitably, our close ones die. It might be when somebody get called you names or does something to you, but everybody has bad experiences in life. None of these can excuse us for our behaviour. We're all responsible for how we behave. Uh, a few years ago, uh, a, a singer called Anne Russell had a song. It was about Sigmund Freud and it contained the words, I went to my psychiatrist to be psychoanalyzed to find out why I killed the cat and blacked my husband's eyes. He laid me on a downy couch to see what he could find and this is what he dredged up from my subconscious mind. When I was one, my mummy hid my dolly in a trunk, so I thought it was naturally that I'm always drunk. So when I saw my father's when I saw my father kiss the maid one day, and that's why I suffer from kleptomania. When I was three, I felt ambivalence towards my brothers, so it naturally falls. So it's natural that I poisoned all my lovers. But I'm happy now that I've learned this lesson that has taught that everything that I do wrong is someone else's fault. So in other words, you see the point she's making is that all the adverse experiences in her life is she's blaming that on why she's uh, like killed a, a cat or or she's uh, murdered all her lovers or suffers from kleptomania you know she can't help stealing and she's ambivalence towards my brothers uh, so she's saying that everything what has happened to her in her life is that's why she behaves the way she does but the bible says no we're all made by god we're all matter to god and we're all answerable to god and on the day of judgment we'll all answer for our judgment i'm not dismissing or taking lightly things that happen to people but we are all responsible for what we do we've got no excuses for telling lies stealing bad behavior misleading people cheating on spouses or whatever it is we do and the bible says that the soul who sins that they shall die not physical death only but spiritual death which is separation from god but one thing we what we, we need to do if we're made to be if we're to be made right with god is to acknowledge to confess our sins to act, agree with god that we are guilty in his sight in the old testament in proverbs 28 verse 13 it says he who, is co who covers his sins shall not prosper but whoever confesses and forsakes them will find mercy and the New Testament counterpart is in the first epistle of John, chapter 1, verses 8 to 10, where we read, If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us from all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So if we say we have no sin, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. That's mankind's greatest problem, sin. It causes a breach. A separation in the relationship between God and man and not only that but it's ruined our relationship with our fellow mankind and when Jesus came into the world he said for the son of man came to seek and to save that which was lost he says I haven't come to call the righteous but sinners to repent and not, not that there's anybody who is righteous that don't need to repent but it's just that there were these group of religious people who thought they were good that they were better than others and they didn't need to repent but that's uh, a, a, fallacy, a fallacy as we saw in those verses everybody has got sin and uh, 
the point is that we need to confess them otherwise we are cutting ourselves off from the remedy which is forgiveness by God. When we are forgiven by God that broken relationship between God and man is repaired and when Jesus was dying on the cross he said it is finished. The debt that sinners had owed he was paying for himself. In English it is finished is three words but in the original biblical language it's one word tetelestai. It literally means the debt is fully paid for also uh, could mean the war is over there's no more hostility between God and man in Christ Jesus because Jesus has paid the penalty for our sins and in the gospel he said the son of man is uh, come to seek and to save and to give his life as a ransom for many and that word for ransom lutron is the word paid to free a hostage or a slave we are enslaved to sin Jesus said whoever commits sin is the slave of sin we're literally shackled to sin we can't set ourselves free by new year's resolutions or by mind over matter or by psychology or counseling we're chained to sin we cannot give them up but jesus said if the son has set you free you shall be free indeed i will set you free i will transform you i will give you a new heart i will put my spirit in you and make you a new person so although we may go through bad experiences that we can never forget and, and traumatize us we're responsible for our actions but Jesus by his death on the cross on Calvary where he paid the penalty for sin has repaired that broken relationship with God and man and man and his fellow man and he puts his spirit within us and he can cleanse us from our sins and make us new and he can change the world and society one life at a time. Thanks for listening and God bless.